I've been listening to these meetings for a couple of weeks now. You know, when you do Zoom, you have to be patient. You know, Mr. Mays, he says point of order, he should shut up. It's that easy. Okay. He always be talking over people. Always be talking over. Just say, speak your speak your piece and wait your turn. I think tonight all I was asked was to be quiet and let the attorney speak. You could not hear the attorney because he kept running his lip. And we spent three and a half hours on that silly, silly thing. Y'all are supposed to be elected for the people. Y'all be just clowning, all of you. Just clowning. It's unbelievable. And nearly right in the middle. Point of information. What's your point of information? Through you to um, the speaker, I did read the charter in the executive session. You just left out of there, you, so you wasn't there to see it. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Murphy, that ain't a point Council of information you, or order Mays. and unless you said Thank if you. i was chairing that would be Council, your first warning councilman mays council murphy that was not a proper point of information council mays can you continue to yeah i'm about to wrap up you. but this foolishness of people and he is the prime example of coming on this council coming in this city in a position in a matter of weeks and months don't know what the hell going on and got a lot to say and then you got Herc and Rhoda and Lewis and Priestley and them following him for whatever reason. If I said you was analogous to Trump, y'all be hollering, point of order, he can't talk about me. So I'm used to the double standard of the way we talk around this table. And so I'm going to address it every time they go low. I'm going to highlight it. You know, because we on, we on TV. We on the cameras. This ain't just the people in this room hearing this. Matter of fact, for an example, and somebody put it on Facebook, I'm cutting Dewey Park, and they went and said, Quincy, cutting Dewey Park, you damn right I was. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mays. I despise discrimination. We in discussion on a motion. I remember we had a discussion about the janitors or something, and Mr. Murphy said the boys' bathroom, men's bathroom look like shit. Now he say, damn, and you voted with him to penalize me for saying hell. I despise discrimination. Different treatment among whites and blacks just because y'all want to stay cool and keep a black man's vote. I despise discrimination. Mr. Mays. The protest outside them was I despise discrimination in council chambers. Discussing a motion or otherwise. I don't appreciate you being flippant when I make a point about the use of obscenities by him when y'all vote and treat me differently on similar words. Mr. Mays, you're not relevant to this appointment. Well, I, I, I've been relevant. If I say damn you, he said it. Mr. You think I'm relevant? Mr. Mays, you're not relevant to this. Okay, well, I made my point. Y'all, if you ain't gonna punish one and then make a point about it, Ms. Hurkin wrote a Presidente. Look, she waving and laughing. I despise discrimination. Mr. Mays, thank you. Okay, we got a cussing fest. Mr. Mays. Scratch your order. See, the Lord is good. It, he done put his foot in his mouth. If he vote no, he's a hypocrite. I'm ready to take care of this business. Yeah, I'm ready um, to take care of the- point, point of order. Here we go. What's your point of order? My um, colleague is not addressing me as Councilman Murphy. He's addressing me as a hypocrite, and that is not um, who, who my mother named me when I was born. That is not who the residents in the third ward voted for. My name is Councilman Murphy up here, not a hypocrite. He's calling me out my name. Thank you, Councilman point Murphy. Point of information. What's your point of information? Through you to the speaker, his mother put Councilman Murphy on his birth certificate. Is that what he's trying to get me to understand? 
Okay, you know what? Hi, this is Barbara Morgan. And once again, we can see how the meeting went the last meeting. I mean, it, it really just, like I said before, it's totally ridiculous. And for uh, Councilman Mays to be calling somebody out and say that acting like you all are bumbling idiots, he, the perception of him is that he is just that, and he makes the council look that way. You know, you are an elected official, not just when you come to council, but you are an elected official, period. And to be drinking when you are on your job, that is against the law. So don't try to act like you are a law-abiding citizen when you go before a reporter and say that you had a cocktail and that uh, you didn't know uh, that it did you that way and that you're really not a drinker when it's so evident that you are a drinker. When you go on a public podcast, turn up a wine bottle, drink it, and one of your colleagues found it to be very, very funny. At 11 tonight, Councilman Eric Mays is addressing rumors he was drunk during last night's council meeting. Mays was removed from that virtual meeting for being ruled out of order after calling Council President Kate Fields a dictator. Mays, who called into the meeting from Ingham County, tells MidMichigan now he had a cocktail during that meeting, but he wasn't intoxicated. I told them they could send the state police to breathalyze anybody to me, and they did. But some good advice. You better be careful who you associate yourself with. This election coming up is very serious, and people are talking. People are not going to support you like you think they are because they, you have been discovered. And like I say, to try to bring other people down, threaten their jobs, threaten to have them removed. When you're doing what you're doing, you need to be removed. You know, I, it don't make no difference whether, like I said. Hello. Yes. Yes, um, this is Robert Jones again. I'm just calling in to um, talk to Mr. Winfrey. Mr. Winfrey, this is like your second or third time your phone hangs up when there's important stuff that's being discussed. You did it last meeting. Just go to YouTube and replay it. You did it the meeting before. I know you have a cell phone. I know you have a house phone. I know you have a personal cell, and I know you have a, a work cell. All of those can't go dead. What I'm asking you is please get chargers or something so when you see your phone going down to 10%, that means plug it up. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to get on your case or anything, but it just seems like everything, something important comes up, your phone dies, and when you come back, it's, oh, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I can't vote right now. So I'm just asking you to please just charge your phone, have a charger next to you, and we'll move forward. Ms. Barbara Moore, I'm going to have the last word, the last say for you tonight. Now, you're wasting our city time and our people's time. Whatever's going on on YouTube or Facebook or the broadcast, don't bring that mess here. Us people here in Flint, we're trying to get the people's work done. If you want to be on YouTube fighting with other people, then so be it. But don't call in talking about stuff that, that you're having issues on YouTube. Now, you, you sound like you're over 60 to me, but whatever your age is, please grow up and let's, let, let's act like adults. Thank you so much for indulging me. Okay, I'll go on the clock. You don't get to Put do me on the clock. Mr. Who got the flow? Who got the flow? Go Put me on the clock. I am. I'm not telling through you to Mr. Winbridge. Uh -uh. They rule. No, <laughs> they no, rule. we're not doing what that. What you telling me about? You that. gave me you the flow. I can talk to him. I can talk to him. What made. you talking about? I can't do it. You ignorant. To be interrupted. Now, me. now you make now, some personal now, attacks. I, I will you out of order for being you disorderly. Rules. You're being disorderly. Okay, you being disorderly. You're being disorderly. I'm warning you now. four times to quit interrupting me when you give me the flow. You want me to read you, you to want me to read disorderly for you? I just do it for the cameras because it's just sound ignorant. I said run the clock and she said I can't talk to you. I rule you out, you are out. And I'm, I'm going to remove you from, I remove you from the meeting, Councilman Mays. Remote. I remove you from the council. Nobody, it was, it, the bid opening, they stated no bid except 
uh, except you have oh, to have I, I see how you're trying to frame that. Continue, Ms. Worthen, you out of order. Please, Ms. Worthen, we'll let this Ms. man continue. Ms. Madam Chair, Mr. can you Mays, see let me chair, Mr. Mays. Ms. Worthen, you're out of order. Now you can proceed. Thank you. In, you better quit in, hollering at me, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to do that. Mr. Mays, I can holler you loud. need to quit speaking. Madam Chair, I got the floor. Politely, I'm asking you. I'm not looking for no response. I'm going to ask for you to keep your tone and hollering down at me. Proceed, sir. I've got the floor. Sir, I got the floor. Politely, I'm asking you. I'm not looking for no response. I'm going to ask for you to keep your tone and hollering down at me. Proceed, sir. I've got the floor. Thank you. Just watch yourself, Miss Fields. In, in, in our bed. Man, look, one thing I ain't gonna let Galloway do is wear me down. She gonna get woe down before she wear me down. This been going on all day. You been in and out. I don't care how she fix her mouth and talk. I'm tired of it. It's funny, and I'm, I'm, I mean, you done seen it. And you a lawyer. And I'm, I got a legal mind. She trying to talk to you now, and I got the flow. Just keep laughing. That's why I like you. And it could be at me, it could be at her. It's ridiculous. And it's been going on all day, Mr. Winfrey. We know we're in a government meeting. You, Miss Tanya, you are a, a, a great person. But we're all human. We need to keep our thoughts and what happens to adults in adult places, not on media. I don't know if it's to get points or to, get, to be this bar, whatever the concern for reason for putting it on the media, social media, it's not, an ad not being an adult. And that's all I have to say. But I do want you to read the but whole Ms. thing. Tanya, this is for you. Don't put, it on, don't put gossip on social media. It doesn't look good. And it doesn't make you look good. Thank you, Ms. Mona. Are you, are you down? Yes, I'm Thank down. you. Next speaker, please. Come. Uh, Mr. I'm President. just asking a simple question. Because the first year, went I was only talking about the first year. I know for a year. fact that we did patching the streets. Point of order. During COVID. Point of order. Ms. Herkenroder, what's your point? The timer has gone off. Ms. Herkenroder, we hear it every time you do. Mr. Edwards, carry on. You, point of you, order. I done ruled on your point of order. I'm going to wrap up. You're not going to discriminate against this black councilman because you white. Yep. Oh, now, I'm white. asking oh. white folks to wrap up, oh. black folks to oh. wrap up. Point the bill order. went off. I'm going to wrap up. Why are you keep pointing the border trying to take the flow when we know how this works? Point work? of order. Hold up. I'm on a point of order. Ms. Herkin wrote, I've ruled on your point. We got a wrap up deal. Now, if you want to appeal my ruling, Mr. Murphy, what's your point of order? I done ruled on hers. You are out of order. Calling them, <laughs> calling a race out. It has nothing to do with this situation. Well, I'm going to rule. You are completely out of order. I'm going to rule on yourself that. out of order. I'm going to rule on that. To me, it has something to do with it. And discrimination and racism and people understanding mm -hmm. black and white is old as the heel. Now, y'all can appeal it, but I rule that I do have the right to say black and white. Point of information. Who is your point? What's your point of information? So I just want to make it clear that enforcing the rules makes the representative of the seventh ward racist. Is that what the speaker say is saying? Say what? What the chair is saying, and the, the representative, myself, from the 7th Ward wants to clarify that the chair is stating that by enforcing the rules, which we are all held responsible to, that the chair is stating that the representative in the 7th Ward is racist. Is that correct? No, that's not what I said. I said you okay. white, okay. and I said I'm black, okay. and that we got the wrap-up rule that we've been using for black Watch folks. what you say out your mouth about me. Because I ain't studying you, setting no narrative. 
So are you saying this seventh ward person is racist? No, I said you did two points of orders when I got the right to wrap up just like white folks, black folks, young and old. That's what I said. Enough is enough. Talking about he disrespects um, departments. And you disrespect me. It ain't just you. You, Quincy, Eva, Kate, and them been doing it. Point of been view. doing it. Point of information. What's your point of information? Is the speaker aware that perhaps he's also disrespected several members of this council? Say what? I said, is the speaker aware that perhaps he has also disrespected several members of this council? I got to know what you're saying. Say it loud and then I can answer it. What's your point? Say it again. If you is choose. Is the speaker aware that perhaps he has also disrespected several members of this council? Hell yeah, I done disrespected several members who disrespect me. Point of now, information. What's your point of information? Now, isn't it true that the speaker is a Christian? Yes, it's true that the point speaker of information. is a Christian. Point of information. Point of information. What's your point? Isn't it true that in the Christian scriptures, one is told to love everyone regardless of what they do to them? Yeah, but there's three types of love. But I'm, I'm familiar with what love is. And love, what love got to do with it a lot. Any more points of information? No, that's all. Oh, okay. Because once they say point of order, that means to shut up and answer that point of order. And Mr. Winfrey, I am so, 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 I just don't even know what to begin with you. For all, for every single council meeting, when something is about to happen or something happens, all of a sudden your phone hangs up or you come back to the meeting and you don't know what's happening. If your phone hangs up, make sure you call, call the, somebody to try to get you back in so you can hear what's going on. Don't wait till they come up for a vote and then you don't know what's going on. Like, that's just dumb. And I don't know where Kate Fields was tonight, but either or. But we need a new evil, a new ninth ward council person. We need a new, a new fourth ward council person. We're glad that um, Garrett is leaving. We're so happy about that. But Mr. Winfrey, please, and to the, the city attorney, please, do you know how to read? Talk like you're in a courtroom. Don't be <laughs> fumbling around with words. When you want to read something, what you want to get your point across, you're very clear. But when you don't, just go back and play the tapes. You can hear. Like you can't read when it's something that you don't want to agree with. But that's all I have to say. You seconded. Mr. Murphy, would you like to second the, uh, the motion? If you don't, I'll second it. Let the record reflect that I'm going to second that motion. This guy is going to fool around and be out of order, not being recognized. He's going to be out of order with that attitude and that mess, and I ain't buying it, and I ain't going to never buy it. And if he don't learn the rules, I'm going to hold him against it because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Just ridiculous. And it ain't cute. I, I guess he think it's cute. It ain't cute to me. Is there any discussion on this motion to postpone back to commit? And I think this is a uh, ruse on the part of Mr. Mays with Mr. Mays and Ms. Galloway. Once point again, of order. point of order. What is your point of order, Ms. Galloway? That's a personal attack, Madam President. You are out of order. Ms. Galloway, it's and not I want a personal you to attack. Move. Well, I am not the decision of the chair. I am the decision of the chair. There's appeal to the decision of the chair. Is there a second? Uh, Madam President. Ms. Winfrey Carter. I support the motion. It's been moved and seconded. Mr. Okay. Guerra. Uh, Mr. Guerra. Point of order. Just a moment. We are on point appeal. Of point of order. I am on in an appeal. Ms. Galloway, can you just hold your breath for a second so I can follow the process? I am trying. This dialogue with point of information. What's your point of information, Ms. Priestley? Um, 
during, uh, no, this is not going to be a proper question, but I wanted to let um, our, our president understand that during our, our meeting the ARPA, where the ARPA committee and um, met with the land bank and the county officials, the county told me that they are not going to vote on this unless the city approves it. Make and that in the form of a, a question. question. Did you know? No, I didn't. Now <laughs> let's keep moving. So I'll help you. Thank you. I'll help you, but it's got to be yeah. proper because I can't discriminate. Okay, so the, so city, the city. county. Yeah. And then um, everybody else will worry about the state later. Yep. Have the county. Because our money, we've already committed. Like our money is going to go in one way or another. Well, y'all got that little money compared to We don't have that. Well, point of order. order. <laughs> ain't terrible, but. Point, I'm point being of order. Sarcastic. Yeah. No, What's your right. point of order? Uh, it is now 8 p.m., three three hours after we've started this committee meeting. Are we going to wrap up with this anytime soon? There's well, no Ms. time limit. Well, Ms. Worthy, that is an improper use of a point of order. Absolutely not. Yes, it is. But uh, we do have to allow him um, this time to communicate. We, and if, We if, also if, have business. Thank you. Continue, please, See, Councilman Mays. Now they done got me started. Oh, Excuse yeah. me. Look, you out of order, Miss Worthy. You out of order. That counts me now, nice. I'm just going to tell you, all of that foolishness, if blight and crime is number one, I wouldn't care if we sat and talked with them for a day and recessed and came back the next day. I ain't studying what you're talking about. That's just foolishness. I wouldn't care if we spent a day on blight and another day on crime. When we... I'm asking you not to ever take my authority wrongfully. I want to know who do you think you are? Mr. Mays, my name is Allie Lee Hurkin. Ms. Rogan Rhoda, you out of order interrupting the speaker on this motion. Oh, my apologies, sir. I thought you were asking me apology, a question. Apology, warn yourself. Mr. Mays, I will not. You have the well, floor. Well, then, I, I, if it was enough folk here, I appeal your ruling. We're going to have chaos if you keep interrupting me. I say, who do you think? Mr. Mays, I'm going to tell you who I think I am. Hell, I know who the hell you are. Said point on. So Gary wrong again because he tried to bend over backwards. He think it's funny. It ain't really funny to me. It's, it's embarrassing. And, well, brother, don't say it's funny when I'm talking. I didn't speak when you were talking, and I disagree with you. So now you acting like them. You want to talk because you can't understand what I'm saying, sir? If you out of order, and you should warn him. Don't talk to me when I'm talking, because we don't talk when y'all talk. Listen at y'all. Y'all don't see the confusion y'all cause. Y'all don't see. You got two companies willing to step up to the plate while y'all practicing ignorism. I'm going to make up a word for y'all. That's ignorism. And think that me black and ignorant and the whole community is majority black. And y'all been going and laughing and talking to each other. And then coach. I wish I had a new that Mr. Darrell was going to be like that. We'd have been better off keeping Carrie Nelson. A specific motion to take action. I'm confident that she'll do that. And so um, I'll vote the table it till you get back. But Ms. Lewis, could I ask you a question through you to Madam Chair to Ms. Lewis? If they don't let this happen the way that we've discussed it, you willing to go to jail? You going with me? Because <laughs> I want this up here. I want you to fight on this one. All right, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, is there any other discussion on the motion? <laughs> 